being a black woman living in America, you know? I got some thoughts about Sally Hemings and Thomas Jefferson, you know what I mean? I've been having those thoughts for a long time. Uh, my family, my dad was in the service. We lived in uh, Maryland. And so Monticello was stone's throw away, you know, heard a lot about it, went to see it on one of those school trips, you know what I mean? So had some thoughts about Thomas Jefferson and Sally Hemings, Sally Hemings and Thomas Jefferson and enslaved people uh, in, you know, in general, uh, specifically members of my family. What I love about Sally and Tom, the play, is that every character in the play is a person. They're not like a hot take, a caricature, a, a moment so I can wag my finger. I'm not interested in that kind of writing. Uh, I really work to, as a, as a writer, uh, walk in the shoes of the character as much as I can, whether they're a white guy like Thomas Jefferson or uh, in my play uh, White Noise, a white guy like Ralph, a contemporary character, or um, in uh, Top Dog Underdog, you know, black dude, you know what I mean? I really work to step out of myself as I present in this incarnation and step into the shoes, embrace the heart wrap myself around the guts of whatever character it is I'm writing. I'm not interested in wagging fingers. I don't, I think that takes us places that can only really take us so far. My efforts as a writer, whether it's a song or a play or a musical or a TV show or a movie or an essay or a novel, are an effort to say, wake up to the love. Let's look at each other and say, hello, we're alive together and we're related. Isn't that gorgeous?